Hey Mamshis and welcome back to another episode of our We Back Journey. On today's episode, we're going to talk about the different OBs who are an advocate of VBAP or yung mga OBs na naniniwala na kaya nating mag-normal delivery after nating masisaryan. So if you want to know the list of VBAP advocate OBs na nandito sa Pilipinas, just keep on watching. I decided to create this video because this is what is the first thing that I had to research when I decided or when I realized I'm pregnant and I wanted to have a normal delivery the next time around because I know already that the first doctor ko, I had a CS but I'm not convinced the reason that I CS ako. but anyways let's uh, explore so I have here uh, I was a member of a Facebook group called Gentle Birth Manila on Facebook, uh, Gentle Birth Philippines, something like that. I'm gonna put the link here below. And doon, may nag-post doon, isa sa mga dola, nag-post siya, sino dito yung may mga successful VBAC procedures? Mag-comment kayo kung sino yung naging doctor nyo, sa ang hospital, and uh, parang something like that. So, ang dami nag-comment. That's 273 comments all in all on that post. And I was looking through that comments and dun ko nahanap yung doctor ko. <laughs> okay? So, the way na I figured out anong doctor yung magaling, kasi ang daming nagpo-post, same doctor yung sinasabi nila. So, probably this person is really an advocate of VBA, if ever. So, share ko sa inyo. So, yung nagpost na dola is Miss Velvet Iscario Rojas. Way back in October 2018 niya pa pinosto. Most of the blockbuster or pinaka-recommended ng mga mommies on the Facebook group is uh, first one is Doctora Bev Ferrer or she's Doctora Beverly Ferrer. She is of affiliated in Mother and Child's Cradle Health Birthing Center and I think this is in Las Piñas or somewhere in South. And she did a VBAC. She had an, a water birth or natural birth, walang epidural. And uh, yun, dun siya na anak sa mother and child uh, cradles of health. Another doctor, the most recommended, sobrang tabalik balik yung pangalan yun doon sa comment section na yun and doon sa group na yun, is si Doc Menefrida Reyes. She is affiliated with St. Luke's Quezon City. And she did a VBAC and natural or Lamaz. Uh, birth in St. Luke's Medical Center in Quezon City and I also heard the sobrang mura ng professional fee ni Doc Meni. It's just so far from us because all the way in Quezon City kaya I opted to go for the next best thing which is yung isha-share ko next um, yung mas malapit sa amin sa Taguig. Ito, paulit-ulit din ng pangalan nitong doktor na to and that's why I've decided to go with her. She is Doc Karen T. Torredes she is affiliated in St. Luke's BGC. The PGDS naman sabi niya, ang doktor niya is Doctora Cecil Margaret Estera. She is from uh, Clinica Antipolo or she also works, uh, yung doktora na to, she's affiliated also in Tai Tai Doctors, Fatima Hospital Antipolo. She had a VBAC and natural birth in Clinica Antipolo. So, ayun. Uh, another doctor na na masasabi nilang ano successful VBAC is si Doctora Heidi da Daigoy Daigoy and she is in Asian Hospital LPDH and Premier Medical I think this is in South I'm not so sure but she had a VBAC uh, natural birth walang epidural and gave birth at Premier Medical Center. So, doon sa Facebook group, I'm actually not affiliated with them, I'm not a member of the Dollars, but you can join the Gentle Birth Manila, uh, Gentle Birth Philippines Facebook group. Meron doon, nakalink, lahat ng, ano, sinamorize na ni Miss Velvet, lahat ng doctors all over the Philippines na advocate ng VBAC or mga uh, naniniwala sa gentle birth na principles. So, just a little bit of a run-through sa different provinces naman, okay? Para ma-cover natin lahat. Sa Baguio, 
Meron silang doctor na open-minded for Viva, si Dr. Ruth Tagiling. So, siya yung nandoon sa Baguio. Sa Cebu or Mandawe, ito naman, si Dr. Mary Gurley Viloso. She's from CDU. Dr. Ruthie Balansang Chongwa. Dr. Virginia Villegas from Chongwa. Dr. Diana Amoja from Chongwa. And Dr. Chavez from Chongwa. So, marami pala sa Chongwa ang VBAC Advocate. So, from if you're from Davao City naman, yung OB Gaini na na-recommend nila dun sa group is si Dr. Darlene Stewart. Okay? So, okay sa kanya first time mo mag-VBAC or second time mo mag-VBAC. From Cagayan de Oro naman, si Dr. Dyres Relikete. So, she's from Maria Reina Hospital. And Nueva Ecija, si Dr. Katrina Torres from Gonzales General Hospital. So, yun lang muna so far on this video ang um, aking ma-share sa inyo. For the complete list, once again, mas marami pa yung sa Metro Manila. You could check out yung nandun sa Facebook group. I hope you find this video helpful for you guys. And thank you so much for watching this video. Do give this a like and share this to your other mommy friends na gusto or interested magkaroon ng VBAC experience. Ito yung mga doktor na makakapag-support sa vision nyo kung paano nyo gustong mga anak. So yeah, maraming salamat for tuning in on this episode and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye!